what's going on guys, Jolts here, and today I have a pretty cool build for you. Now, this was shown to me by Sudden Death Mode, and uh, I actually modified his build a little bit, um, but I will link it below down in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Uh, this build is actually really simple, and it does a ridiculous amount of damage without relying on like the B and the Grog Nozzle and also the, uh, the Norfleet, yes. Uh, so, what we're doing here is called the Javelinier Krieg. And this build basically hits for in the 100 millions uh, every time, and you can build it up to like almost half of damage cap uh, in no time at all. So, this build is pretty straightforward. I kind of put it at its bare minimum so you guys can uh, see the basics of this build. And now you can obviously swap this stuff out, like for a blue uh, launcher here, or uh, you know, some other stuff here. You don't actually have to use exactly what I use. But this has the highest damage for its build. So we have here the bonus launcher. And this is a TDR rocket launcher. And it has specific parts for a mag size of 5. Uh, while having good reload speed. And that's what we want for this build. But like I said, you can have any parts. It doesn't really matter. But this maximizes your damage. So you might also notice it, it is slag. And the reason why we're using slag is obviously for slagging. And also, one feature that uh, TDR throws have is they're going to be explosive on rocket launchers. Uh, so it doesn't matter if it's a corrosive uh, bonus launcher, it's going to do a explosive hit uh, when you reload and throw it. Which is kind of unfortunate, I kind of wish Gearbox kind of fixed that, but um, there's nothing you can do about that. So that's why we're using that one. And so, another uh, plus with this launcher is uh, TDR launchers actually don't consume ammo when you reload them. So with that in mind, we can build our Bloodlust stacks and uh, increase our mag size. And when you reload, you're not going to consume any ammo, which is, um, I don't know if it's a bug, but it's been in the game since the beginning and Gearbox has never looked into it. So I don't know if they overlooked it or if they thought it was kind of a feature. I don't know. So, uh, But that's the reason why this build is so powerful. And now we have the Rough Rider Shield. This is for survivability um, and also for the damage reduction and stuff. And you might think, why not use a sham for absorbing the rockets? Um, you don't need that. This is actually important for your survivability because you can actually get your health back very easily with a couple skills, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then we have the Legendary Psycho. Now, this is going to boost your mag size by quite a bit and also give you some really good skills. And now, you can use the Legendary Torch or the uh, Chaotic Good Barbarian, or a Neutral, sorry, Neutral. Uh, that'll boost your mag size, but this is the best for DPS. And then we have a Blood of the Ancients. Now this is going to boost your max health and launcher ammo. And this is actually better for your DPS too because um, when you actually have a hundred stacks of Bloodlust, you're going to have your full magazine or your full clip in your magazine, all 32 shots. And that means you can't reload. So you want to have more ammo than that so you can reload at all times. And this will actually out damage the uh, explosive relic too because you're going to have more ammo in your magazine. Then we have the Crossfire. You can use the Bouncing Bonnie or just a standard Bouncing Betty Grenade that's Slag. Uh, this is going to boost your Bloodlust stacks and also Slag enemies, and that's important for this build. And then over here is kind of optional stuff. I have the Logan's Gun and Champ for absorbing rockets, so I can uh, get my rockets back. Uh, but because as you know, rockets are pretty expensive in the, uh, the vendors, so you don't want to really spend all your money on that. Then we have the Stormfront. This is for like if you can't get a kill or if you're fighting something like a um, like a constructor or something because you can't slag them and uh, you can't build good stacks on them with uh, the Bouncing Betty. So it's better to use that for them. And then the Fastball for enemies that kind of like fly around that you can't really hit too easily with your uh, your Javelin throws. So next up the Skill Tree. It's pretty straightforward. I did change it a little bit from what Sudden Death Mode did for obvious reasons. Uh, so first off, we have Blood-Filled Guns. That is the most important skill here. That's going to make your magazine size really high when you stack a lot of Bloodlust. We have Blood Twitch, which is going to give you uh, swap speed, which is pretty nice. Blood Bath, that's going to give you grenades back when you get a kill, and also give you some extra gun damage when you get a grenade kill, which is uh, good for this launcher. Then we have Boiling Blood for keeping your Bloodlust stacks. Nervous Blood for reload speed, uh, obviously good. And this is a big one here, it's Blood Explosion. Because you're starting off with a really hard hit with your javelin throws, the blood explosion chain is going to be very strong and chain to other enemies, and pretty much one shot them even on OP8, which is very nice for this build. Then we have Feed the Meat for more health, and Embrace the Pain because everything else here is kind of pointless for the build. 
So we have that for the extra fire rate, I guess, if you're kind of in fight for your life or something. Uh, through all the kill, you only need one point here because each kill you get is going to give you all your health back with this uh, javelin throw. Uh, because it does so much damage that you actually are able to get all your health back. So you only need one point there. Uh, strip the flash for explosive damage, obviously good. And then over here we have burn baby burn. That's going to give you uh, extra burn chance and also, uh, or sorry, you're going to get the self ignition chance which is going to boost a bunch of skills in the skill tree. Uh, like fuel the fire for extra slag chance, uh, damage reduction obviously. Now we have the magazine size boost from the elemental elation. And combining that with raving retribution you can actually stack that pretty easily. And that's going to give you more health back if your health is low. And then the final one here is the uh, reload speed if you're on fire, so that's pretty nice too. Okay, so let's get on with the build now. So pay attention to the lower right corner of my rocket ammo. Uh, when I throw these bouncing betties, it's going to slag the enemies and also stack up bloodlust. And you can see my magazine size is slowly rising. And with that in mind, you just chuck it and it'll pretty much do all the work for you. And like I said before, TDR launchers don't consume ammo on the reload, which is, uh, I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but yeah, you can see there we're hitting for almost 200 million already, and we barely have any stacks. And if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see I still have full ammo. So let's go ahead and go down here. And also having a bloodbath allows us to scavenge grenades, so we pretty much never run out. Do a reload. Yeah, pretty much everything's dead. Oh, that's a rabbit. Okay, we hit him. And obviously you are going to be slagging yourself, but it's not a big deal for this build. Uh, it's not going to really hurt you too bad. Because you're getting your health back with Thrill of the, the Kill. And it does take a little bit of aiming. But, uh, it's not too hard once you get it down. And you can also add any gun you want to this build. It doesn't have to be uh, just this launcher. You can put on a Herald and all that stuff. Uh, but I was kind of excited for this build because you can get away from using the Grog and the, uh, you know, the Norfleet and the V-Shield. Which is pretty much commonly used in a lot of builds nowadays. So uh, this is definitely one of my favorite builds out there. And you can see there everything's pretty much dead and we're almost at max stacks. And you can see there the magazine size is almost up to 30. Anyways, this build is very straightforward, and uh, it doesn't require too many items to build. So you can build it pretty early on once you're able to spec down to Blood Explosion. Uh, you can build this build at its base minimum. So I do hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be epic. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.